Welcome to the Aero General Service Channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti. And in today's video, we're gonna be splicing in a 12 by 12 catch basin to an already existing six inch main line. So now this is six inch SDR 35. That's what the main line already is. And we're gonna be adding a catch basin with four inch SDR 35 pipe. And we're gonna show you how to splice it into a six inch line. We started off by locating the six inch main line. We dug around it and we went ahead and we cut out a pretty good section of pipe. That way we could fit our six by six by four inch Y fitting on the pipe so we can splice in our catch basin. Now the catch basin is gonna go right in front of this little patio in front of the, the back porch door because this whole area floods and holds water and it sends water into the patio once this overflows with water. So we're gonna have that catch basin there to go ahead and pick up all this surface water before it has a chance to enter into the patio. And we're gonna send it into the catch basin through the main line and it's gonna get discharged in a retention pond. So when installing your catch basin, we always use a four and a half inch hole saw that allows you to put the hole anywhere you want on your catch basin. And then you go ahead and you use one of the bell ends on your SDR 35 pipe and that bell end will fit nice and snug in that four and a half inch hole that you drilled and you can go ahead and insert your pipe into your catch basin. As you can see, we're getting the pipe all fixed up and configured so it'll, it'll get spliced right into that six inch main line. Now remember, whenever you're splicing in something to a main line, you always wanna use a combination Y. So a combination Y, is a Y fitting with a 45. That way you have a nice swooped channel that enters that main line. So the water doesn't just, just slam into your pipe. The water makes a nice smooth transition into the main line and mixes with the rest of the water, holding its velocity. Now we're using what is called a slip couplink. This is a six inch slip couplink. And basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to close up a gap that you otherwise couldn't with a traditional couplink. So the slip couplink slides onto the pipe before you put the pipe on your fitting. And this allows you to slide the, the couplink back and forth on the pipe so you, that you can then close up the remaining gap. So we're gonna go ahead and put glue on either side of the pipe and then we're gonna slide that slip couplink over and that's gonna make a good solvent connection covering and sealing up the gap. So now that we got this catch basin all spliced into the six inch main line, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab the level and we're just gonna double check to make sure that everything is sloped properly before we bury this system up. And as you can see on that level, we have a full bubble. So this water is really gonna fly into this six inch main line. And you can see even the six inch line, it's got a slight bubble and it's going in the correct direction. All right, so we got the new catch basin all buried up and filled in and the mess cleaned up. And now we're just gonna use the garden hose just to test it out and make sure everything functions properly. Now, I know I've gotten a lot of feedback. People want us to go back to the systems on an actual rain event and get footage showing them working in action. It's hard to do that because we're really busy. You know, I, chasing storms is, is kind of difficult to do. So unless I'm in an area where we had put a system in and it's raining, it's, it's hard to get footage. Or if I could get the client or homeowner to get the footage for me and then send it to me, that would work as well. Um, this one, this job particularly wasn't too far from the office. So I am gonna try to make the attempt to go back to this job on a rain and get footage of this actually working in a rain event. So bear with me. All right, guys, as always, we hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something from it. And if you live in the Tampa Bay area or surrounding counties and you're experiencing rainwater intrusion into your home, 
or flooded, soggy yard, give us a call. We can come out there and assess the situation, and we can build a system that will fit your needs. And until next time, this is Arrow General Services signing off.